Joshua 2 News exclusive, a new plan to redevelop part of downtown Dayton. Tonight, there are designs to transform an old Delco warehouse on East 1st Street right next to 5th 3rd Field. Dan Edwards teams with our partners at the Dayton Business Journal to break this story. It's a view of downtown Dayton that few have seen. The rooftop is probably the most spectacular outdoor space in the city. Because Very soon, you could live here. Thanks to Maverick developer Jeff Samuelson. It was Kettering's headquarters. He officed on the sixth floor, and if he were still here today, he would have a view of home plate from his office. It's just as, it's just as cool as it gets. Built in 1911, the 329 East 1st Street building is being primed for a complete transformation. I can envision New York-style penthouses up here that would rival anything that was done at the Schuster Center. Along with solar and geothermal energy, a five-story open atrium is planned that will make it one of the greenest buildings in the country. I can envision artists, I can envision students, newly uh, graduated um, students that, have that are just entering into the workforce. He says the multi-use residential building in the heart of the aerospace hub epitomizes downtown Dayton's theme. Let's say Somebody like the University of Dayton Research Institute wanted to have laboratories there. They could have their professors live there and work there, and then they could go on the roof and play there. Samuelson, who's responsible for the rebirth of Brown Street near UD and Miami Valley Hospital, says the 329 East 1st Street building is a game changer. This project, to me, is far more exciting because of its scale. If all goes well, Phase 2 would redevelop the even larger Mendelssohn's liquidation building across the street. Connected by a tunnel that runs under 1st Street, the building's loading dock area could fulfill one of downtown Dayton's greatest needs. I believe very strongly that that could be a grocery store the same size as a Trader Joe's or a Dorothy Lane Market. Samuelson envisions both buildings becoming a large, self-contained community with all the amenities. These two buildings combined together are going to create an area that's going to be so vibrant that people are going to be talking about it all over the country. In downtown Dayton, Dan Edwards, 2 News on your side. Samuelson hopes to begin redevelopment efforts next June. To get more details, link to our partners at the Dayton Business Journal at WDTN.